Hi, welcome to the Fort Cherry Ag Department. This week we're celebrating National FFA Week. We're having an open house for the community members, elementary students, and all of our staff that help us out throughout the year. For the past four weeks, over 100 agricultural science students have been working hard to come up with projects to present to the public. This year, our theme revolves around different types of agriculture, alternative agriculture. We put fertilizer in the water to um, make nutrients come up. This is rye, which is, takes three days to sprout. This is about four to five days old. We start off by putting perlite in cups with seeds. Put about 10 to 12 seeds in there, and you'll get about 80% of the seeds that you planted. Right here we have an air pump I brought from home. We gotta keep the water circulating at all times. So we just have this running into the bottom of the tank. It's about in the middle so that all the plants and the whole area gets all circulated. We also have this lamp up on the top for the plants that are growing to get light. So that's hydroponics. Is it more efficient than growing it in soil? In this water, we get most, mostly all of them sprout in, water, or in the water. And out, it's easier to do this as opposed to the soil because hey, you get, might get a frost or to be cold or something one day, and that will normally kill all the plants. This is the process used for making biodiesel. Uh, you can make about 40 gallons of biodiesel in usually three to six hours. It's a pretty quick process. Uh, you can make it for about 89 cents a gallon after you get the kit and then get started up. You can use this in your car then, the diesel car? Uh, diesel vehicles. And, uh, there's no conversion for it. You just have to use, what is it? Injector. What is it? Yeah, you gotta add some. For lubrication. So there are kits available that, uh, that would enable you to go ahead and set up your own uh, manufacturing plant? Yes, you can get them for, I think, it's close to get for about two hundred dollars. And then you're in business. Yes. To save your uh, French fry oil. Yeah. Wow. Are there any plants close by that do this? Uh, any uh, commercial plants? Soybeans. Oh, plants like that. Uh, not that I know of. Pelosi's do it, but they just do it for their own vehicles on the farm. There are farmers in the Pennsylvania area who are making their own. Yes. Currently, yeah, from soybean. Uh, they use used oil from uh, the meadows. But you could actually uh, grow soybeans and ferment them and make your own. Yeah, you have to extract the oil out of them. Oh. Well, it's a natural organic way to fertilize. It's better than fertilizer because there's no runoff, no toxins. It's free and inexpensive to make because anything you would end up throwing away and end up in the landfill stands up in your garden in big heat. Eggshells, bananas, apples, anything organic that can be composed can be composted. You never want to use meat or milk. Milk will make it stink, and if you ever smell rotten milk, you don't want that in your backyard. And, uh, got it. Okay. So, my banana peels. Don't throw them in the garbage. Just throw them in the towel, let them rot. Throw them in the pot, let them in the yard somewhere, yep. kind of area. Uh, this one right here has been about uh, biodiesel, like Hannah's saying, so it actually does it for the environment, but really okay. is. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes I will throw you know, yeah, some fruit yeah, instead of the garbage can, throw it out in the yard. Yeah. And just let it yeah. bio be And you can put uh, lawn clippings, leaves, grass, and stuff like that. And other forms of composting would be like these red worms. They'll eat, you feed them, they'll eat, then you know, uh, their waste is good, really good nutritious fertilizer. They'll bag up and sell it. Okay. My wife, once we get a house, does want to get into the compost. Yeah. Good presentation. Thank you. Our project is on wind energy. One of the wind turbine, one wind turbine can provide enough energy for about 250 houses. Um, According to the Department of Energy, offshore wind farms could provide enough energy to power the entire nation. Wind energy is a form of solar energy and therefore is renewable. The earliest known windmills were in Persia, which is in Iran. After the initial investment in startup costs, however, it is one of the cheapest forms of electricity generated and maintained. Our, our projects on hydroelectric power you know that worldwide, 20% of the world's electricity is powered by hydro. And uh, hydroelectric power does not create any waste. That's pretty good for all of us. We don't appreciate that. The 
the hydroelectric dams provide flood central, flood control along with electricity. The Jinsha River is the largest hydroelectric system currently under construction. Uh, we have some pictures up here. This is one of the earlier forms of hydropower. It was commonly used in rivers and creeks. Uh, this is Kinju Dam. It's located in the Allegheny National Forest. This one is located in Arizona. This is a diagram on how they work. Alright, buffalo, whenever they are born, are 50 pounds at birth and they are five and a half feet long with 50 with 800 to 1200 pounds um, Carolina has her facts um, my, my, my full uh, age female is about 1000 pounds and the male is about 1800 to 2400 pounds our project was on organic foods. We have samples of different foods. We have tomato basil dip with wheat chips, dried bananas, and we have dried cranberries and raisins. They're dried organically, I guess. Then organic pumpkin seeds and mango lemonade. Organic. Is it good for you? Yes. Why eat organically? Um, because um, some people are learn are are worried about the chemical fertilizers, the pesticides. But organic doesn't have any of those, so it won't affect your your health. And also, sometimes regular things can, like the drugs and hormones that are found in normal foods, can cause different diseases and are sometimes doing the cause cancer. And these are our facts about organic. Um, there's one up here. There's schools are testing organic products in vending machines. They're going to try to put organic vending machines in schools. So that'd be good. And um, there's other things about the other trends show organically produced in milk, cheeses, meats, vegetables, fruits. Um, also, there's not just in food. There's also paper products. Um, even in different like hair hair products or makeup is organic too. This year, American agriculture is more than just cows, sows, and plows. So as we look around at the different projects, we have projects on organic foods, alternative animals such as buffaloes and llamas, and composting. This is a great recruiting tool for the H.G. Parkinson FFA chapter. Each year the elementary students come over from our elementary center where we give presentations to them. So many students come in during ninth grade and say, I remember when we came over here for open house. So this year we're asking the students to show a little bit of different agriculture. That students not necessarily have to live on a farm or show an animal at the fair to participate. Maybe they're interested in speeches or maybe it's an alternative agriculture. So we're just trying to give an array of different things that agriculture encompasses.